hello friends welcome to our youtube channel so today we are going to discuss about some inter questions which may ask in interviews so this video is for those people who want to learn more basic concepts about java or the people who are job seeker and want to know about what are the inter questions asked into the interview so i have bring such questions for you guys that will help for your and you will get clear understanding of the same so let's begin so this is the first questions so currently which version of java or a selenium or any tool you can say right you're using in your automation framework or any framework you can say right so this is the first question anybody can ask since uh, i am into it industry from last seven years and during my tenure i face this question every time i still remember when i i joined my first company in 2013 okay and uh, that time uh, i was using java 6 and now i am using java 14 so lots of things has been changed lots of new versions and lots of new features are coming in into market so back to again to questions before going for interview we should know such things which version we are using which features we're using what features we have implemented in our automation framework or any framework should know such things right so what are the features what are the versions right and uh, how we have implemented in our project that we should know right say suppose um, talking about java 11 or talking about selenium 4 right say suppose we can say uh, we are using java 11 so second question comes to our plate like what are the features in java 11 that you have already implemented in your framework right for in that case we don't have such answers for that or what are the features in selenium 4 that we have implemented in your framework right such a questions comes comes in your fleet when we can say such a versions in front of any interviewers right so i know the it project lots of it project is still running on old versions and few of them has moved to the new versions but are they using the features of new versions right i guess no they are just updated their versions to the current release like for support right that's it nothing else right but just to more understanding purpose we should prepare from that perspective we should know which are the features which have actually implemented in our project before going for the interviews so yes this is the second questions right how to perform zip file operation and unzip file operation right is it really possible right so i took multiple interviews so far and i ask same questions multiple times every time for every people right and they don't know they just guess is it really gonna support java gonna support this right if you guys watching this videos and we already know this how to perform zip and zip operations in java i really appreciate you guys that you are updated okay so is this really possible in java so my answer is yes is it possible the main intention to highlight this question in this slide is not to show how to implement or how to do the coding for this question right because we can easily find the same questions or um, same questions we have found multiple solutions n number of solutions n number of codes are available on web you can easily find out there right but the purpose is the before going for interview we should know such a things so this is the support which has been added into the newer version so that is a purpose nothing else so yes we can 
zip unzip operation is there in the java so for this performing this operation there are core libraries has been added that is java util dot zip so if you see this package if you drill down this package where you can find all the zipping and unzipping related utilities that will help you to solve the your queries so if you can consider zip so there are zip we can zip file we can zip a multiple file we can zip directory or we can unzip the same and so on we have multiple operations we can perform with the help of zip <coughs> so back to the third questions right so this is the most important and frequently asked question into interview okay i also face this question so many times okay so uh, why we are using character array instead of string for storing the sensitive information or password right if you observe closely observe this question there is directly comparison between the character array and string okay when programming in java you know the strings like right? strings are immutable in a simple language we can say strings are can't be changed we can say right that's why it's immutable right so strings are immutable and strings variable are resides into the string pool upon their declarations right and until they collected as garbage collected they still there into the string pool for the undefined time okay so that this implies that after you finish the processing of your string value it remain available into heap memory okay for longer time okay and and you don't have control over it right so therefore the hacker or any person or anyone with access to the memory dump has an potential to extract the data and can use it for the malicious intent but if you use mutable object like character array to store the variables right so mutable variables can be set blank immediately if you are done with your operations like so this is how these things are happen okay so that's why character array is more preferable than string right i hope you got everything you got point to point so i have mentioned the point wise uh, answers also in these slides so i'll i'll keep or i'll post these slides along in the description i attach this uh, ppt presentations in description box so you'll get idea or you'll get step by step answer for each and every questions which uh, which we have discussing today so let's move to our fourth question this is also most common question we can say right what will happen if you put return statement or system dot exit on try catch block will finally block execute right so exception handling is the most favorite topic of any interviewer there are lots of combinations permutations of try catch block questions are there okay but this is the most frequently or we can say most uh, important questions right <coughs> many programmer even i right so many programmer think that no matter what finally block always execute because in the classes in the colleges we learn the same thing even i i i i have perception of the same right so but we never cross check that what are the cases right what are the cases are there in that finally won't be executed have you asked this question no right this question challenge that concepts by putting return statement in try catch block or calling the system dot exit in try catch block this question challenge that right so answer to this simple question is finally block will execute even you put return statement okay return statement in try or catch block and if you put system dot exit in try or catch block then finally block won't be executed 
right this is a simple answer to this question and in the in in the interview room you might uh, get different questions the same question in different manner that how to restrict the execution of final block right the question is same just the wording is different but answer for the same question is same so let's move to our fifth question right this is the most important again okay so only for this question might you know guys why java does not support operator loading or or you might not know why right so why java does not support operator overloading right any cases guys any cases to have right so we always support or we can always say java is object oriented language like c++ is object oriented language but c++ has operator overloading and java does not have it why both are object oriented language right if you guys are well known about c++ then you might know that java has left lots of features supported by c++ right so in java there is no support for multiple inheritance no support for pointers no support for pass for reference is it is it true right but if we can say no support for in multiple inheritance but java has in interface like java has interface okay and if you think the java don't have pointers no if we are aware about this keyword in java what is this this is pointers only okay what doesn't what java doesn't provide is like java arithmetic that is pointer arithmetic we can say right star that java does not provide support for that right but java has a pointers this is how java has provided multiple features in a different way but is there okay and in case of operator overloading the most controversial topic right simple say no java does not support user defined operator overloading the only aspect of java which come to close custom operating overloading is handling of plus sign only right so plus sign which either result in compile time concatenation of constants or execution time concatenation using string builder or string buffer i hope you are getting my point guys right you cannot define your own operator operator right which which are uh, which i act like same way though right so for java like jvm based languages does not support operator overloading right so yes thank you guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope uh, you'll get some information from this uh, slides which i have shown here around okay um, i have kept only five questions for as of now so that i don't want to make video so much longer okay we'll uh, keep posting such a uh, interview questions for you guys and we'll keep discuss about the same we'll keep add the same videos into the same playlist thank you so much thank you